Hey there, I'm the Holder Fire Familia. Welcome to another reaction. This time, we're reacting to The Dragon Prince Season 4, Episode 7, Beneath the Service. Now, just to let you know, I am still sick, so uh, you may hear me cough occasionally or my voice may get raspy. Um, so, yeah, just to let you know that not that the sickness are coming back, the sickness is coming back or anything, but I'm still getting over it. I think I'm almost over it, hopefully. Uh, but, yeah, anyway, uh, happy to be back and. Uh, Let's get right into it. Let's see what happens between Claudia and Soren. How's this interaction gonna go? Bye bye. <laughs> so we're continuing right off with Soren and Claudia. Oh no. Okay. There are three levels between here and the lair of Rex Igneous. I call three? Them zones of peril. If we zones of peril. <laughs> okay. I mean, it being called the pit of despair, that shouldn't be surprising that they would call that he would call the level three levels. Of peril, I almost blanked on it. Give him your gift of sacrifice and hope for the best. Pardon? <laughs> sacrifice? Excuse me. Well, I mean, we could sacrifice the boy. <laughs> Wait, did you just say gift of sacrifice? We're here at the first zone. Yeah, you know, just ignore that. <gasps> Not important. Whoa. Ooh, Why does this kind of remind me of the uh, hidden world and how to train your dragon three? Kind of reminds me of that. Okay, not that not that uh, underground area or cave full of crystals is exactly original, but just it, I don't know. It, this is dragon, and you know, how to train your dragon. You know, I know there's been some references to it in here in the series. So, I mean, it's not so far fetched that this was uh, this was inspired by it. I'm pretty sure it would be because I think this came out before or not before. This came out after How to Train Your Dragon three, right? Because this is this is season four. And I believe we're on season six right now for chat. Yeah. Yeah, I think this was after uh, How to Train Dragon 3. Pretty though. That's a lot of detail work they went they put into this background. Like that's a lot. I've always said if there was anywhere I could go and get lost forever and starve to death, this should be it. Why can you are they sugar crystals? Can you lick them? <laughs> it's just so pretty. <gasps> what? This how we're going to feign Soren. Oh. <laughs> Soren is strong. He'll find a way to survive. He's already survived. He's out of there. You guys are the ones in peril or in danger right now. Is that you? Why? No, nah, of course not. What? What? Okay, I feel like they're building this up. You got the music building up. Everything. And she's just gonna ask him like, "Why are you? Why do you look like that?" <laughs> or she's gonna be like, "Why? Why are you, why are your clothes in tatters? Or why are you riding a dragon?" <laughs> she's not gonna say anything like super serious. Why? Why are you wearing pajamas? Or that? I mean, yeah, I knew it wasn't gonna be a serious question. Wait, what? Oh, that's where you go. Yep, that's Claudia. <laughs> and under your armor, you wear pajamas. Uh, yeah. yeah, saves time and super comfy, duh. <laughs> but in I mean, understandable, because if something's gonna pierce through your armor, I don't think a thicker piece of cloth is gonna protect you. Unless you put like chainmail underneath it, but at that point, I think that'd be way too heavy, so. Why not be comfortable and be protected? Oh, I knew you wouldn't understand. It's not a face, Soren. If you won't stop. I'll stop you. Then I will stop you. No offense, Soren, but you are just a knight. She's a mage. <laughs> a strong one at that, and now she's using more dark magic, so. Yes, this was cute. I love how you have the polar opposites. You got, you have, um, you have Callum's wings, which he... He, well, he created his out of, like, he, he was able to do his out of love and everything, whereas Claudia's, I think, she used out of, actually, she's used it randomly, didn't she? But she's using dark magic to do it. So it's like the two polar opposites. You got Callum with his, like, non-dark ones, and then you have Claudia with her dark ones. Please. Yep, yep. Really? Okay. Add that. Another score to Avatar Last Airbender reference. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> this is 
Super uh... intense. Moon Shadow Assassins use Moon Opals as a power source for stealth and illusion spells. So let me guess. The red crystals are going to be for Sunfire Elves. Uh, the dark blue is water. And then the more turquoisey color one is Sky Arcanum. But then you also have the green one. Okay, so the green ones would be Earth. Is that all of them? You got... You got you got fire, or you have sun. No, you also have moon. So which one would be the moon? You have dark blue. I feel like that's water or ocean. Or green would be would be earth. Yeah, I'm gonna guess there. The, I do see like there's like a lighter blue, not the turquoise one or the dark blue one, but there's like a light blue one here. I wonder if that is the sky, or kind of crystal. Hmm. Exactly. Fire rubies contain sun magic. Aquamarines have ocean energy. Stone heart emeralds are air, and sky sapphires have sky magic inside. Thank you for explaining that. That I was just trying to get. <laughs> well, five out of six, anyway. Wait. Five out of six. Okay, that's why I was like, are we missing one? Is there no primal gem for star magic? Technically, there is. It's called a quasar diamond. But that sounds rare. But they're unbelievably rare. Legend says there are only three quasar diamonds in the whole world. Three? There's lots of these, though. I think it's fine if you want to take one. I'll say there seems like there's uh, plenty of them. Take one of each. Oh, nice. The moon ones are the prettiest. Yeah. Moon ones are the prettiest. Stares at Rayla. <laughs> I think so, too. Rayla <laughs> knows. Uh, I mean, the opals. Wow. Okay, Callum. The fact that he even corrected that, like, come on. <laughs> oh? Wait, you can open up. <laughs> Bates' face is just like fine. It's just like, oh, okay, you have magic? All right. Bates now sitting there going, I wish I had powers like that. We're going to let music light the way. Music? <gasps> Secret tunnel! <laughs> Secret tunnel. Crystal Does tunnel? Does anyone know what he means? Please tell me we're going to get something like that. She can handle herself. Choose her own bedtime. I mean, she also almost got killed by Ivis, so. Perhaps she's enjoying a moonlight stroll and getting a few breaths of fresh air to wind down. <laughs> well, she's getting breaths of fresh air, but not exactly calm ones. I really want—I really want to know what the interaction between Soren and Viren is going to be, especially considering the last time they talked. Let's not hit the back again and get paralyzed, please. We, you know. Mm. Who wants to tap? I do. <laughs> Oh my god, really? The freaking anime eyes again? You know, Ezrin did it, and then now you got the eyelashes too! Oh my god. Okay. Pretty. It'd be kind of cool if there was like a little Easter egg for Secret Tunnel. You just hear like a little bit of the song from it. Or like the, yeah, you hear like the orchestra? The song, you know what I mean. The, him whacking it with his tail, I honestly would be scared you break it. Because I love how most of them are just doing a light tap or Zim just full on force whacks it with his tail. Well, that was easy and not so perilous. <laughs> What's the next level like? I can't wait for the next one. How bad is it gonna be? Particularly if you like things like hide and seek with deadly monsters. Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Callum. Huh? Okay, so he didn't hurt his back. That's good. Because I was too. But it's not too late. She's to not gonna Please, listen. I know you can change. You don't have to do what he wants anymore. About that. 
It's more like I'm not listening to dad because I brought dad back to life and dad wanted to go on this whole guru, I want to live life in peace and stuff, which I didn't agree with. So I, I'm making him do So it's more Claudia pushing him there. Vera, no? I'm not sure I recall what you're talking about. <laughs> you mean the uh, buck up pretty much kind of advice? I believe just summarized your philosophy. Get a grip. Mm. Uh, hmm. And Claudia's right. You are you, weird. <laughs> you are certainly weird. And, <laughs> and wonderful? Uh, perhaps wonderful? Oh, <laughs> thanks. You know, there Here. is one a big old hug. <laughs> Please do not. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fine. Yeah, I don't think Viren's a huggy type unless it's maybe like Claudia. Respect your boundaries. <clears throat> Personal boundaries, yes. Respect them. If you fall, you plummet and die. But here's Thanks. the hard okay. part. Sometimes a friend can light the way. <laughs> or blind you and you fall really off. Sweet. Unclear if they hate the light, I'll eat light. <laughs> oh, so they'll just eat bait. <laughs> bait knows that he's like, I don't want to eat. Or these monsters will tear you apart. So how are you going to be able to see then? X-ray vision? Or night vision, I mean? You just got to crawl on your hands and like knees and just like feel around and so you don't fall off? I feel like that would be the safest. This bridge isn't so treacherous. In fact, I'm going to do a cartwheel. Uh, Rayla, I'm Rayla. not sure that's such a great... <laughs> uh, can we please slowly... Crawl, please. Callum is me. Go slow. Rayla's just yoloing it. <laughs> I'm like Callum. Just can we go slow on our hands and knees? Actually, no. You don't have to go slow on your hands and knees, but just because I mean you're gonna feel a drop off before you actually drop off. So. Found it. Light. Light. Callum, put away your cube. Okay. Hopefully none of the creatures saw that. Just keep. And then also you hear. <laughs> Moving. Come on, everybody. Oh no, they. they How are we doing? Doing good. Great. Almost there. Bait, you there? Uh. You okay, buddy? Uh. Bait, it's going to Wait, they feel vibrations? Me. You just need to stay calm and keep moving forward. No blowing. I'm sorry, but how do these things. Okay, if they're only attracted to light, but there was only a brief amount of light, why would they still come, go after them? I can understand if they like. Wherever they saw light last, they go up to that spot. But the fact that now they're like, oh, we see you. Now we're going to go after you. It's like, huh? Bait, do not glow. Oh, you guys are like, oh my god, it's like lantern fish. Deep sea fish. It's going to be like freaking Fighting Nemo. I see. I see a light. <laughs> Bait. Ooh. Maybe at this point is run. They're cool looking. Zim, you are a Sky Arch Dragon. Can you zap him? Yeah. Oh, he'll make them jump off. We have to go. He'll be fine. He can fly. They can't fly. No. Nothing. I can't. Don't you play up now and do the sad music, blah blah blah. We know he's fine. See anything. It's not gonna work. Zim. Can we not? I already know he's fine. I know he's fine. This is not a Fifi. He can fly, they can't. Come on. <laughs> what did I say? What did I- <laughs> I was saying, it's not gonna work on me, you guys. This is way too soon to pull a Zim died moment. Zim just there like, who are we, who are we looking for? <laughs> Little troll. I know about Arvados. Arvados <laughs> sounds like armadillo. Uh, Averoni. Averados. Ambernos. Aravos. About him. I love how that's what gets her to talk. Is mispronouncing Aravos's name. Or are they just taking advantage of you? What for? No offense, but what do they need from humans that they don't? They don't have. That and more. 
Why, what? <laughs> Thousands of years ago, humans had nothing. We were starving and wretched and helpless. There was famine and disease. You're missing the key part there. A thousand years ago. Not even a hundred. A thousand. And, there was and a lot can change in a hundred years alone. You can feel it's true, can't you? Humans understand suffering deep. And wait a minute. You have freaking Terry. So why are you saying like... They're using... Do you believe Terry's using you then? In because so many generations went through it. Oh my god, so she's, so she's, uh, exactly like that, it's not, she doesn't have personal experience with it, she's just saying, well, a thousand years ago, we went through that, so, you know, it's a generational thing, and it's just, uh, it's just like, oh my god. Erevos believed in humans when all other elves and dragons thought we were worthless. No, the only thing he believed in humans is that they could be used. So he gave us magic. Dark magic? You, you would be dead without dad's magic. Wait, he wouldn't be dead. He'd be paralyzed. Who's ready for Zone Three? Now, Dad would be dead if he was if it were for magic. Lava Land. How are we supposed to cross this? The lava ebbs and Zim can fly across. And in a few hours, we'll be able to walk right through. Hmm. Few hours. Well, I think I copied a spell down in my book that might be perfect. Is that a lava crab a or a lava hermit crab? I'm wondering, could he use the breeze dome to cool down the lava and make a path? Because, I mean, once you cool down lava, it turns into solid rock, so. I could use one of those during the summer. Now I'm cold. Then step out of the dome and heat up a bit. I don't know. Sleep half in, half out. Have your feet sticking out of the dome and then have the other halves in the dome. Hey, Rayla, I think I need to talk. You think you need to talk? Oh, now? Of course. Of course. I like I've been waiting. <laughs> She's like, I've been waiting. You're the one that hasn't wanted to talk. Whatever it is you have to say to me, everything will be fine. We're breaking up. <laughs> we'll never be a thing again. <laughs> We're not going that route, are we? Yeah. Don't you do the little bang moving thing? I feel like this is not going to go the way you think it's going, Rila. I need you. To piss off. <laughs> Leave me alone. Don't go near me. To kill me. Not where I thought that was gonna go. But okay. I mean, not, 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 not now, but if bad things happen. Oh, oh, we're not going that that route. That, 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 that we're not. <coughs> we're not going down that route. Uh, uh. We're not doing this. So, <coughs> if Erebos possesses me in the end or something, you're killing me. We're not having that kind of ending to a series. All right, we're not having that kind of conclusion. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that. Okay. All I'm asking is that if he takes control of me again, you have to kill me. I need you to promise. You're talking about the assassin who doesn't assassinate. Who's such a kind-hearted person, and you're asking her, who's already like that, to kill you, the person she loves. Okay, yeah, that's gonna so go right. Ow. Thank Why you, Rayla. Honking. No one can control you or make your choices for you. Erebus can. <laughs> I'm afraid, Rayla. What if I'm on a path of darkness? You're not Claudia. <laughs> Then take a different path, dummy. <laughs> it's like, at least you're realizing it now that you might be going down that path, so just do your best not to. Hello? It's not like you're realizing this when you're already at the end. I have to do this. What, are you gonna pull a golem or something? Not golem, but are you gonna, like, jump on the lava? What? You're not committing lava coup. Stop. A. I don't think it's a good idea. It's the key of Erebos. No good will come of it. What if it's the key woman contained, though? I chose the name Terrestrius. Oh, wait, are we actually getting into the whole transgender thing with Terry? Because I, I know one of you commented, I think it was the first episode that Terry was 
um, in was that Terry is trans and it was and he was female to male, and that actually his voice actor is the same way, female to male, which is really cool. So they're actually bring- wait, are they actually bringing it up in the show? Because I was thinking like he's bringing up about the dough, and I'm like, okay, maybe innocence, you know, fr- fragility. But then he goes, I've always known I've been a buck. It's like, oh. Oh, that's their way of bringing up that he was always a female to others, but he's always felt that he's a buck or a male. It's a strong name. I mean, you got support from Papa Viren, so. She's in trouble. Ah, she's fine. She's with Soren. Soren's not going to do anything to her. The lair of Rex Igneous. Are we going to get to see Big Boy before the episode ends? I would like to see at least a glimpse of him. How do you fall asleep like that? I feel like my back would be Something screaming. No. No. No! I don't want you to be alive! <laughs> You're going to cut off here. I just wanted to see Soul Regum. I just... I mean, not Soul Regum. I want to <laughs> Whatever his name is. Man! But... <laughs> I just wanted a glimpse of him, but not to wait for the next episode. Uh, oh, Ezra and Rayla doing the cartwheels. I know it's a crown, but whose crown? Are they? Wait, are those the three star touch like crystals? Are they those the three star crystals? Because. The boy did say there's only three of them. So who's got the crown? Erebus? Or someone else? Soren being all heroic stance. Stella and bait with gems and gold? Oh my god, freaking the, the creatures <laughs> in the darkness having sunglasses on. And the resonate, resonating crystals, or tuning crystals. Alright, well, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts then. Okay, well. Oh, that was a, uh... I'm on my way journey kind of, like, episode where they're just... It's more of... It's more progression of on their way to see, uh... I'll just say Soul Regum, but that's freaking the other dragon. Um, the Earth one. Um... The ending, I just want, you know, I was really hoping, like, even, like, his eyes would be in the darkness, and then you just see a glimpse of him, and then it cuts to black, and it's end credits. Like, I, I just want to see a glimpse of him, <laughs> but that's fine. I'll wait till the next episode. Um, but, yeah, okay, so now we, we've got Soren and Claudia kind of talking, sort of, kind of. I mean, she only started talking once he pronounced Erebos' name incorrectly, which, Ar- 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 Arvidal, or whatever it was, it sounded like Armadillo, I'm sorry. Um, interesting. So she, you kind of get to see into Claudia's mindset as well as to why she's more on Viren's side or that side, like Erebos' side. Of course, Erebos has definitely lied to her about stuff. Um, uh, I, I love how you kind of see her, her, not stance, but her, be- not belief, what is it called? I guess it would be like stance or beliefs. Um, like, her reasoning for it kind of starts crumbling when you really think about it. Like, she's saying, oh, you know, we were treat humans were, had famine, and, you know, the dragons and the elves didn't, you know, they pitied us, and they didn't help us, you know, a thousand years ago. And it's like, well, did you personally deal with that? Is that what's going on right now? Well, no, but, you know, it's a generational thing, so kind of, like, got to carry on the pain, right? And it's like, no, because now it's different. It's a thousand years later. So, you can definitely see how Claudia is definitely going down that path. Um, but now I'm curious of what Soren and Viren's interaction is going to be. Because, I mean, last time Soren and Viren interacted, Viren pretty much said that you're dead to me. You're like, you're not my son. So, I wonder if Viren's going to change because his mindset's kind of changed with everything. Like, not all of it, but, like, a lot of it's changed. So, I wonder if he also would... I would like it if he apologizes Soren and it's just like, you know, you're not like like have a father son talk. Uh I hope that happens. Um and I love how 
but I feel like us, the viewers, and Rayla was hoping, like, thought Callum was going to want to talk to her about, like, the stuff he's been holding in or upset about. But then it's, kill me. <laughs> it's like, that's not what we were going to talk about. That, that's not what I, or that's not what I thought we were going to talk about. Um, but yeah, it's interesting, you know, with the, the cube being the key to Erevos' prison, it's like, why not just throw it away? Unless it's the key to also beating Erevos, which, like, you lock him away again. So it's like, you don't want to get rid of it, but at the same time, if it's the only way to open his... Like, it'll be interesting. Is it, is it the only way to lock him away, but also the only way to cl keep him contained? Because if it is the only way to release him, then just throw it away. It's like, the it's like it, it reminds me of the, um, the ring from all, uh, Lord of the Rings, where it's like, just throw it away at the end, you know, it'll be best. Um, but for Erevos, if it's the only way to lock him away and there's secretly another way to get him released, then yeah, don't get rid of the key. Um, but yeah, uh, it, I enjoy this episode. I also like the little yip yip, <laughs> little nod or reference to Avatar of Sarah Bender. Um... I like the I liked the designs for the like lantern reptile creatures in that section. Um, the crystal cave was cool. I mean, we got some lore that there's three star crystals somewhere out there. Um, and from the looks of the credits, that they are on a crown. But whose crown exactly? Hmm. Uh, find out next time. Um, but yeah, overall, I enjoyed the episode. Uh, by th plot, I was about to say those were my thoughts, but I forgot to do the. You know, I've been out of it for a bit. <laughs> Basically, I've been away for a week. We'll just, like, I forget some stuff. Uh, but, yeah, the plot was good. I enjoyed it. Uh, characters were good. Also, I love the, again, I appreciate the little, like, it's not just, like, I'll be honest. If that scene hadn't happened and I wasn't made aware of it prior uh, because of one of you that commented saying that Terry is actually trans, I would not have known that or guessed that. Um, but if I hadn't been told that prior... I definitely would have figured it out here. And I would have been much more like, wait, is Terry trans? Like, I would have been like, that's cool. Um, it's still cool, but not as much of a surprise. It's just more of a surprise that, oh, they actually acknowledge it in the series. And then Viren, you know, actually, you know, like supports it in a mild, like, Viren way. And so that was cool. Because um, you actually don't even, s I don't think we've even gotten that in, like, series that are known for, like, dealing with sexuality and, like, um, like being trans and things, like genders and stuff, like Hell of a Boss is the first one I think of. Like we've had, you know, being gay, but then again, they don't really, they don't really talk, like it feels normal in those universes. They're not really talked about as in, okay, no, because we had Moxie's dad who is like, you know, gay is the same thing as being bi. Like you have that, but like nothing really like, we haven't had anything really trans except for Sally Mae, Ma uh, Millie's sister, but nothing's been really like, address like with what terry said here with you know they always said i was a dope i always felt i was a buck and then viren you know saying terrestrious is a strong name so like supporting it like so they kind of like not kind of but they pretty much talked about it in a way like it's a little bit but they talked about it whereas in hell of a boss it's more just accepted already like it's just known so that nobody really talks about it um so yeah i i think that's cool it's the first series i've seen do that at least animated wise um but yeah uh, animation was good music was good i didn't really notice any music that stood out to me uh mainly the plot and characters were the best thing in this episode uh but yeah anyway those are my thoughts for it i hope you enjoy this reaction have a wonderful morning after night and keep bringing bright see ya